I'm up here on row eight of the window and in front of one of what's one of my favourite panels, um, which depicts uh, this church and down in the foreground, St John. And St John has a measuring rod. So effectively he's measuring the temple. So uh, an interesting panel for architects um, to, to enjoy. But um, the other end of the measuring rod is held by a red angel. And the red angels are the, the angels that are closest to God. Uh, they're very, very important in their status. And behind John is the church and you can look inside it because John Thornton has designed the panel in a very clever way. He's cut away the side of the building so that you can get a glimpse inside and you can see the worshippers in front of the altar and this wonderful shrine. And uh, the detail is just beautifully painted throughout the panel. But the, the, one of the reasons that it interests me so much is that we've talked to our art historical advisors and they feel that this could be a representation of York Minster. Uh, it doesn't quite look like York Minster but it could well be um, John Thornton using it as a representation. And also he's made a very interesting mark in paint in the flagpoles of the building. And on the right hand side here we see this very very small flag which has the arms of Bishop Skirlaw and he's the man that paid for the window. And so uh, John Thornton has commemorated Bishop Skirlaw, the man who gave him the money to be able to carry this out. But on the other side, on the left, another very, very small flag. And you really have to be very close, uh, close up to this panel to be able to see what this flag means. And it's got the crossed grosing irons and the nails, which is a, a traditional symbol of the glazier. So in this panel, in a very discreet way, John Thornton is saying, I'm the man who made it, and here is the man who paid for it. And I think it's just a wonderful panel for, for us conservators and glaziers to enjoy uh, those small details that show the marks of the man who made it.